If you guys are in need of some coins to get that player or team you've always wanted, make sure to check out Mutt's store and use code TD for 10% off. Yo guys, what's going on and welcome to some Madden 18 Draft Champions. I know it's technically called like Mutt Draft now, but for all of us that have been playing Madden like two or three years, we still all call it Draft Champions. So we're actually going to start off today by doing the Animal Draft. If you guys don't know how the Animal Draft works, we have to like draft players if they're like team's mascot, like their logo or their name is an animal so for example the detroit lions like they're an alliance we could pick a player from that team but the new england patriots the patriot isn't an animal so we can't draft any of their players now one huge change i'm going to make to this is in the past i would just you know i would do the draft and then we would play a game win or lose what i'm going to start doing with all of these is we're going to attempt to win all four games and win the championship i feel like that'll just make it a lot more interesting now since i am possibly going to be doing up to four games in each of these drafts all I ask is like you guys are just smashing the like button because doing four games to one, like that's a huge difference. It's going to take a lot more time. We're going to go with Doug Peterson. He's the Eagles coach, an eagle. That's a bird. That's an animal. So we got Swearinger, we got Xavier Rhodes, and we got Marcus Peters. So Swearinger, he's got, you know, the Texans. They're like a bull. And then we got Xavier Rhodes, who's the Vikings, Marcus Peters, who's the Chiefs. So in round number one, we're going with Swearinger because the Texans, that's an animal logo. We got a choice here. Do we want to go with Weddle or Hyde? I know Hyde is faster, probably more athletic, but I don't know. Weddle always just plays like so well. 95 zone coverage. He's got, let me see. He's actually got 93. It's not bad. So we're going to go with Weddle. I feel like his play rack just makes him play so well. Now we know the Titans aren't an animal. The Raiders, that's not an animal either. So we're actually going to go with Hunter Henry. We can actually go with any of these players here. Calais Campbell, it's definitely tempting. But I say we go with Marshall Yanda and just like boost up our O-line. And I'm glad we did that because in the very next round, we get to go with Clowney. Again, another round where we don't get a choice. But it's just like the players we have to pick are actually super good. First we get Clowney, now we get Sue. They're just not giving us many choices today, but we do get Shaq Thompson, that's not bad. I'm tempted to go with Malik Jackson because I feel like him and Sue would dominate, but I feel like O-line's super important. So we are gonna take the right tackle, Daryl Williams. So this is the quarterback round. We got Steve Young, we got Mariota, and we got Dan Marino. We don't get a choice here, but again, like it's not a bad one. We'll take Marino. This is our receiver round. Brandon Cooks, T.Y. Hilton, and Golden Tate. So we're going with Golden Tate because he's the only one we can pick. This is kind of tough. Now we know we're gonna get a running back round, so it really wouldn't make much sense to pick Marshawn Lynch. But at the same time, like it's 94 overall beast mode. And then even though I do run a lot of two tight end sets, like we got Hunter Henry. Do we really need Julius Thomas? We're definitely going with Marshawn Lynch. I don't even know why I was really considering it. I don't think we can really go wrong here, but you guys know me. I always draft for defense. We're going to take Patrick Peterson. Hopefully this doesn't come back to bite us. Our quarterbacks are starting to get a heck of a lot better. First, we got Pat Pete. Now we're getting Jalen Ramsey. Don't need another tight end. So we are going to pick Demarius Thomas, which makes me kind of happy we didn't take a receiver earlier. Here's the running back round. I am extra glad we drafted Marshawn Lynch because there's not a whole lot here. So we get to choose between uh, Ajayi and Jonathan Stewart. So we're going to go with him and just have like a two-headed monster at running back. Baldwin would be a pretty good slot receiver. He's got 90 speed, but again, we're just going to keep boosting up the offensive line for the legend round we got tony gonzalez and willie brown who we can't pick so we got to go trevor price we don't have a right end yet so that's not terrible he's actually pretty decent and then uh, in the final round yeah paul warfield i'm sorry we're going megatron here i feel like that didn't turn out too bad so we got dan marino at quarterback at running back we got marshawn lynch but like i said we got jai we're gonna mix him in there we got three wide receivers we got calvin johnson demarius thomas and golden tate and then our offensive line isn't bad it's like a little one-sided so we're probably gonna have to like run right uh we got hunter henry at tight end we know what he can do and then over on defense things are just looking sick so we got kendricks we got marshall we got shaq thompson we got swearinger and weddle as our safeties we got patrick peterson ramsey at cornerback i will say i feel like going with pat pete over julio and hopkins was actually by far the best choice and then our d line should just dominate we got price we got sue we got Clowney. he's got dude his top three might be better than ours i think he's just sitting in cover three again yeah, we got Megatron right across the middle. That was a perfect pass. And this is actually going to end up being a touchdown. He completely missed the hit stick. And we're going up 6 0 in the second play. I'm playing the run here. I feel like he's going right up the middle. Okay, it's actually play action. He's got a man wide open. Swearinger, that. Okay, we none of us can tackle. That's not a good look. Just realized my face cam wasn't on. He's going with another stretch. Dude, his blocking 
it's just like on point i'm gonna stop using the linebackers because i feel like the cpu actually does like a better job in the run game okay got that across the middle watch the back of the end zone we're actually gonna end up getting the sack that's price now if i'm this guy i'm looking for antonio brown on third and goal but it doesn't look like he's going to he's trying to play maker that's gonna end up being incomplete there we go we definitely bent on that drive but we're gonna hold them to three which is huge we're actually gonna run left which makes no sense because all of our good blockers are on the right but i guess it doesn't matter marshawn lynch he completely missed the tackle now we got a one-on-one -on -one. we're just gonna run right around him and we got another touchdown this guy can't stop us just gotta keep him in the pocket there we go oh he actually had us in the double move i'm surprised he missed that he is, uh, he's got a receiver wide open. That was actually a really good read. I'm going to start worrying about this route here in the middle. There it is. Double move. He threw it right at us. I, I should have had that. I completely messed that up. If this guy was smart, he would definitely audible to a run. He's actually still going to pass. That's going to be intercepted. That's Patrick Peterson. We made Cunningham miss. And there's no way Kamara's catching us. This is going to end up being a touchdown. And that's why we drafted Patrick Peterson. This guy, he might actually end up quitting after this. I have a feeling if he doesn't get this, he's probably going to quit. Got that? Okay, no, I don't got that covered. He still missed it. That's just extremely unlucky. Now I'm going to do what this guy should have, and that's audible to a run. He's got two down linemen. Our offensive line is way too good. They're paving the way. Marshawn Lynch, that's going to be down at the one. If he would have dove, that actually would have been a touchdown. We are going to go no huddle. We should be able to just go right up the middle. And okay, he quit. We're guess we're not gonna end up scoring. So that's gonna be it for game number one. Let's get it, boys. Game number two. We're going up against Beast Mode. I feel like he's gonna be slightly disappointed when he sees we got Beast Mode. He's only got four DBs on the field again, so we're just gonna keep spreading them out and be looking for Megatron. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna end up getting sacked. That's actually off our good side of the offensive line too. It's a little bit of a drive killer. We're gonna give it to Marshawn. Don't need it all in this play, but that's actually a big chunk. We're actually gonna hand it off again. Got some good blocks. There we go, baby. Marshawn Lynch. That's the first. Besides that one sack, we are just having our way against this guy. We're going with the screen. Golden Tate. There we go. Keep going. That is a fumble. I don't know how we got it back. We're running with Marino. Uh, not the smartest thing. We got Golden Tate underneath. We got a block. And we're in the end zone. I have no idea how he finessed our way to score there. We know he's got Culpepper. We saw Odell in his front three. He's got. He's actually got two running backs in there. That's Zeke. That's going backwards. This guy's going no huddle again. He's only got so many plays he can run out of this formation. I'm covering Odell. That's going to be intercepted. Eric Weddle. Come on. Bring this back to the house. This has got to be a pick six. We're going to jump over him. And that's a touchdown. Who says white people can't jump? All right. That's going to be it for game number two. I guess beast mode made beast mode quit. Guys, I have no idea what happened to like the first eight minutes of this game, but I can't find it anywhere. So we're just going to start here. We got to get a stop at some point. Come on. That is not what we're looking for. This might be kind of risky. I sent the quarterback blitz. It's going to end up getting there. We were actually perfect on coverage too. The big thing here is this guy's not even close to field goal range. Thought he had Odell for a second. There we go. Got everything locked up. He stepped out of bounds. That's He literally just lost 10 yards. We should be able to return this. Come on. No, no, Pat Pete. Really? And now it's just going to like magically bounce down the sideline. It's so frustrating because I feel like we actually would have had a chance at a huge return. The middle of the field is wide open. Marino put it on the money. We're going to use a timeout. He's just playing three-man deep. So we're going to run it with Lynch here. There we go. Got some good blocks. That is, we're going to call a timeout. Three seconds left. You guys know what's coming. We're just going to toss up to Megatron. Just going to hold our blocks. There we go. Got enough time. That is going to reach the end zone. Come on, Kelvin. Please catch this. If he would have caught that, this guy has passed 17 out of 20 times. I got to give him credit. I feel like you never see that anymore. Got to watch underneath. That is, yep, that, exactly what I was looking for. He still got it. Got him to another third and short. The drag routes are coming. Here they are. He just had everyone open on that play. I feel like there's no chance he's running. Oh, he's actually going with the screen. Come on, get out there. Kendricks. Using that speed, we're all over it. The guy pretty much took off the whole third quarter. Field goal's gonna be good. So we're up one. We're in perfect position. I have a feeling this guy's gonna keep blitzing, so we're just gonna keep passing. There we go. He sent the blitz. We got, uh, that's Golden Tate underneath. That's a first down. Do not fumble. Oh, he totally fell for that fake. We got Hunter Henry wide open. That's another first. We actually got some really good blocks. We got another really good block inside the 15. I feel like he's in cover three, so we're gonna streak Henry. He might be open. There we go. Wide open. That's a perfect pass. And that's a touchdown. There we go. Every time he's in this formation, he always runs halfback wheel. I'm going to worry about the deep post. That's where he went. That's going to end up being intercepted. 
That's GG. There we go, Kendricks. We've made it to the championship. He's got Khalil Mack, Andrew Luck, and Demarcus Ware. His pass rush, it's about to be insane. Second and one, we're actually going deep. We got Megatron one-on-one -on -one coverage. He's going to break it up again. Dude, we got to take advantage of that. Huge third and one. Here comes the all-out blitz. Easy money. Hunter Henry underneath. He missed the tackle. The big man is loose. Inside the red zone. Made another guy miss. And he's falling all the way down to the eight. There we go. If he's going to move the outside linebacker, we're just going to give it to Marshawn Lynch. Easy touchdown. I don't know why he keeps moving him inside. He's just making those outside runs way too easy. He's running that bunch formation. It's got to be something to watch for. He's going outside. That's Larry Fitzgerald. We are making it way too easy for this guy. He's just marching down the field. We're going to bring a blitz. There we go. We got the pressure and we got the sack. I will say, recording four games in a row, it is like a lot. My voice is just, I feel like it's gone. That was a terrible tackle. He's all the way down to the 20. We are giving up way too many big plays right now. We can bend. We just can't break. He's throwing right at us. That's going to be intercepted. Come on, Hewitt. There we go. Oh, my, one of my guys just got absolutely destroyed. But let's not let that take away from the interception. If we got one-on-one -on -one coverage again, I think we take a shot. Actually, we got Marshawn wide open. What? How is that intercepted? What was Marshawn Lynch actually doing? Bro, I am dumbfounded. We're giving Andrew Luck way too much time in the pocket. We're going to bring another blitz. We got absolutely no pressure. Now I'm out here missing tackles. This game just took a complete 180. Got to watch the slant routes across the middle. Oh, he's actually going to run it again. That is... That's not a touchdown. Down at the one. I'll be the first one to say it. I thought that was a touchdown. That ball, that's almost touching the white line. Halfback toss. We're blown up in the backfield. And that's going to be a stop. What a way to end the half. Well, I just wanted to play it smart and take a knee. But we're actually so close, we'd end up getting a safety. So we're going to block Coleman. We're also going to block Lynch. And we're just going to streak Megatron. We're just going to toss it up. Hopefully he doesn't get intercepted. Actually, he's got a beat. This is going to end up being a touchdown. 98 yards. What a way to end the half. We just completely changed this game around. I feel like after that fluke interception, like we kind of deserved that. This guy, okay, he's going to run into the kicker. Someone's salty. That was just a crazy first half. We're just going to keep doing what we're doing. We're two quarters away. He's going across the middle. And Eric Weddle drops an interception. Another post across the middle. Now he's going to end up scoring a touchdown. That is not what we needed. So first we drop the interception. And then he scores a touchdown the next play. Here comes another blitz. Just got to wait for it. We're going to end up getting sacked. I feel like this is just going straight downhill. Oh, I should have threw that ball. We probably had triangle open. All right, we're going to run with Marino. There we go. That guy's not going to pick us up. Marino showing off like the 55 speed. This is by far the biggest play in the game. Fourth and eight. We got, oh, Golden Tate's wide open. There we go. Right in the sidelines. Feet in bounds. That's a catch. Oh, there we go. There we go, Lynch. We got some great blocks. And this is going to end up being a walk-in touchdown. We're going up two scores. Oh, no. I got stuck in a D lineman. That is not what I wanted. That is, oh, that's a force. That's an interception. Shaq tops it off the deflection. That's got to be GG. Dude, this one's over. He's actually going to end up quitting. That was just insane. I'm literally a pool of sweat. Recording Madden for like two hours straight. It's been a while since I've done that. Now, we could go with 60,000 coin quick sell or we can go with the Legend Fantasy Pack. We're going with the pack, dude. Let's see if let's see if we can pull something crazy. I feel like, I feel like the pack's a lot more exciting. So here in round one, this is like, this round really doesn't matter anyway. So we're just going to pick whoever we want. Round two. Here we go. Come on. This is uh, all gold so far. There's an Elite. 89 William Hayes. That's nothing too crazy, but here we go. Round number three. Let's hopefully get something more than 60K. We get Amos, Jamie Collins, Legend, Eric Allen. Final card, 90 Freddie B. That was uh, that was definitely kind of anticlimactic, I will say. All right, boys, that is going to end up being it for the episode. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. That was a lot of Madden, I will say. If you guys want me to keep doing drafts like this, so like I said, just you know, hit that like button. Be sure to comment down below what like theme draft you guys want to see next. And if there's like a draft challenge you think looks good, you know, be sure to thumbs up other comments. Subscribe if you guys are new around here. And until next time, I will see you later. Peace out.